let's redesign Neo. So if you've seen my other redesign videos, you know I was designing Team Ruby's winter clothes for Atlas. However, since the ending of Volume 8, things have changed. I couldn't help but really want to fix Neo's disaster of an outfit. I personally just really don't like Neo's new design. It's really top heavy. The bushy shoulders look dumb. The long hair and the coat just obscure her acrobatic combat. I just really hate it. Now that we know Neo's going into this Yggdrasil tree looking place with the heroes, I saw a great opportunity. Beach outfit! Or, well, more like warm weather outfit. See, the concept art for Team Ruby shows us the girls' outfits with their, like, extra layers and jackets and stuff taken off the characters. I'm personally hoping this warm weather beach environment might be a good excuse to have the characters actually change into these versions of their designs. But Neo is a special little snowflake, isn't she? She can completely alter her design however she wants. So really the sky's the limit with what she could do with this warm environment when it comes to her outfit. So I will take the lead and redesign Neo. Now as usual, there's four things to keep in mind before I get started. 1. Color Palette Neo's complicated her colors a little bit with the addition of Roman's hat and scarf, and I think that's a big reason why she feels so top-heavy now. There's no other pure black or red or gray like these incorporated into the rest of her outfit. If there's only one or two things that's a totally different color from the rest of someone's look, your eyes will naturally go to that one thing. And for Neo, it's super boring just keeping our eyes focused up near her face like this. I want to see her whole body when she's doing her epic kicks and flips and whatever. So for Neo, I'm going to go with her signature pink, white, and very dark brown, like almost black. On top of that, I want to incorporate that black and gray throughout the rest of the look as well. I decided to keep the red only on Torchwick's hat though, because it is ultimately a symbol for what she's fighting for. Which leads me to number two, growth and personality. Neo's getting revenge for Torchwick. So this is something she's taking seriously. However, she's also shown to have fun in combat, even smiling when she thought she could finally kill Ruby. So while this is something more serious than usual, she is still a little psychopath who enjoys murdering people. 3. Weapon and Fighting Style Neo's acrobatics with her parasol used to be so much fun. Nowadays, eh. I feel like her outfit doesn't really help highlight the aspects of her acrobatics that makes it fun to watch anymore. On top of being too top heavy, the colors for the rest of the look doesn't draw my eye anywhere. And like I said, her hair and clothes cover her up more than anything else. So the points of her body I want to bring attention to is going to be her face, core, arms, and legs. Which I know that kind of sounds like all of her, but hear me out. I just want it to be very obvious how her body is situated at any point in time. When she does her flips and kicks and crazy stuff, I want you to be able to tell, no matter how fast she's going, where her face is pointing, where her arms are, where her legs are. The color palette will be the most important thing to help work this point out. And number four, environment. The setting is a beach. Now, we don't actually know what the temperature of this beach is. It could be a cold beach, for all we know. We also don't know what other environments we're going to see here. However, I'm specifically designing this with the intention being that she's wearing clothes for warm weather. That was the whole point. All right, now that we got that all figured out, let's do this. Starting with MS Paint. All right, so people make fun of MS Paint, but I still use it all the time. I like using MS Paint to draw rough sketches because it's really easy to grab a part of something and like stretch it or move it around or whatever. There, isn't this just beautiful? <laughs> Next, we're hopping into GIMP, which looks different now compared to my last redesign videos. I guess it's just an updated version or something. First things first, her hair. So I really wanted to do two specific things here. One, keep her hair out of her face. Remember, she's taking this seriously. Obscuring your vision with gigantic hair curls is stupid. Get it up and out of her face so she can see her surroundings. And second, I wanted to invoke a similar vibe to Torchwick's hair. The only thing is, Torchwick's hair swoops down, Neo's swoops up. She's still his equal and opposite. So for her top, I was picturing it's kind of like a corset mixed with a sports bra thing and it's basically just like sucking her boobs into place. They're not gonna jiggle around or anything. She's doing jumps and kicks and all kinds of crazy, wacky, flippity doodahs. She doesn't need her boobs flopping around, hurting her back and whatever. <laughs> her arm, look at that arm. Isn't that good? 
Okay, maybe it's a bit too thick. There we go. Now we just gotta make sure the other arm is the same. Here we go. Here we- Here we go. Go. Just- Just do it. There we go. Two arms done. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, her other hand. I'll just handle that later. So, as you've probably noticed, I'm going for a very striped look for her. I feel like this will help highlight it when she twists or bends during her acrobatics. Okay, her shoes. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled super hard with this. I had no idea what I was even going to do. First, I couldn't decide what style of shoe I wanted. Maybe something that looked similar to her glove? No. Maybe something similar to her original boots? No. Finally, I decided to go with this stripey sandal thing. Great. Perfect. I did it. God damn it, that definitely doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, now I know what I'm doing. Now I just gotta actually draw her leg right. Is that calf too big? Yeah. Alright, so just do it. Just do it. Draw her leg. Just do it. Do it. Just- just do it. Just- Why? Why can't I draw this one fucking knee? Okay, I got it. Good. Is it perfect? No, probably not, but it's fine. Now I just gotta do the other leg. Ugh. Second leg done. Nailed it. Look at me go. I'm nailing it. <laughs> I decided to move the gray scarf over to her wrist. Having it bundled up around her neck just felt like it was choking her. And again, it's just a lot of different colors all right by her head. Her hair is already pink and brown. You don't need gray bundled up next to her head as well. Yeah, you can kind of tell I half-assed her umbrella. Oh, excuse me. Parasol. There's always one person who gets super upset whenever I call it an umbrella. <laughs> Anyways, it wasn't important for this picture. We're focusing on her outfit, not her weapon. Finally, I slapped a face onto her and bam, we're ready for colors. So I always grab a picture of the characters in the show, since their colors are usually nothing like what the colors Ai Lee uses. And this was way harder to do for Neo than I would have expected, because I need her in nice, clear, flat lighting. Nothing with two heavy shadows, nothing where the light source in the scene is like a heavy color. I finally found this picture for her and yeah, this is Neo's skin color. Now I will admit, I found this to be a little too dark and murky, so I went back to the picture later and found a slightly lighter color somewhere in her face and I used that instead. The only other thing I'm taking from her is her eye colors and the colors of her hat and the gray scarf. Because since she can change her appearance at will, I'm gonna be choosing the colors for her hair myself. And that means a nice chocolatey brown, cute pink, and most importantly, I am bringing back that white streak of hair. So when Neo came back, that streak in her hair looked pretty bad. Sort of blurry and stuff, I get the feeling it's harder to make colors fade into a different color in the Maya engine. Well, fuck it, I'm bringing it back because it looks great. <laughs> yeah, and then her umbrella, yeah, whatever. <laughs> After this, I'm mostly just deciding where I want to put my different colors within her stripes and stuff. Working around certain colors, I already knew where I wanted them to go. The black collar and the pink flaps on her top were some of those specific spots where I already knew how I wanted them to be colored. The important thing is I don't want too much of one color, and I don't want a color touching itself anywhere in her design. I don't want white right next to white, pink right next to pink, etc. Because it tends to make her feel really one note, and it'll drag your eye to that one spot rather than having it move around her look. Also, the pink. I want her pink to be a little sparse. Enough so that her hair isn't the only pink in her design, but I also want to use the pink to basically accent those key parts of her body I was talking about before. Face, core, arms, and legs. So I made a background. There we go. And I decided this time I might try explaining my finishing touches a little bit because I tend to always skip over it. I like to add some shine to the eyes, the hair, and sometimes I'll add some blush. This time I also decided to add some blush to Neo's elbows and knees just to give her a little bit more color. Then I do my shading. It's what my sister refers to as lazy shading in her drawn out videos, which are really good and you should all watch them. <laughs> I make a new layer lower the opacity, and then I use black over the picture to create my shading. I like using this method because lots of times I have a lot of different colors that crisscross, and that can be really time-consuming and annoying if you use the not-lazy way of shading. <laughs> 
I really only like using that sort of shading technique if I want the shadows to be a specific color, or if I want them to look more pastel and bright, especially with cute pictures, like this Kirby one I did a long time ago, or my Seven Little Sins phone case, which you can buy at my Teespring, and there's a link in the description. <laughs> now some people might wonder, how do I know where to put the shading, and it's not exactly an easy answer. The best advice I can give is to just stare at the shadows of other animated shows and stuff. I suggest The Legend of Korra. I spent a lot of time just staring at the shading on people's faces, arms, clothes, everything. That helped me start figuring out how shadows are supposed to work when wrapped around a 3D form. And ta-da! This is Neo. I think she turned out pretty good. Maybe the legs are still a little jank, but it's fine. <laughs> I actually did a rough sketch of how I wanted this to look beforehand, and I wanted to show you the differences with it. I showed it to my sister and she suggested dropping the straps around the belt, and I agreed. It made her center a little too busy. I also originally had a knee-high crisscrossing shoe situation going on, but again, it just felt a little too eye-catching. It's never a bad thing to go back and readjust something after spending some time staring at it. So that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have your own Neo redesigns, I would love it if you shared them with me on Twitter. There's a link in the description, and I'll also post this picture on Twitter later in case you want to get a closer look at it. Shout out to my $10 patrons, you're all amazing. Nako, James Dodds, Cool Duck, Andrew, Ramiel, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, G Extreme, Classy Critic, Surge, Boulder Off Bros, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Great Bar, Caleb Grimm, Pentamenta, Genital War Thunder, Carmen, Order, Vortex, Jake, Soren, Amber, Malef, Lolith, and Livid Ares. Yeah, I hope you all liked my redesign. I would love to see if you all have your own redesigns. I think that'd be amazing to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, share them with me on Twitter. I love seeing fan art. I like retweeting fan art. I just love seeing all these things and like your own redesigns. You all come up with so, such smart things sometimes and it's amazing. So yeah, if you have any critique of my art, uh, tell me how awful my legs look. <laughs> I really struggled with Neos' legs. <laughs> yeah, any and all thoughts and opinions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.